Are you having problems doubting your manifestation? Stop doubting your manifestation and begin attracting what you really want. Here are three simple ways. Hi everyone, Robert Zenk, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Success Coach. And today we are soaring high. Like a big, beautiful eagle, we are always flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. And that's what this channel is about. Your dreams and your goals manifested. Hi flyers. Are you having challenges doubting your manifestation? You know, you set an intention, you have a desire for something to manifest in the 3d world, but you kind of doubt it. You kind of worry if it's going to happen. Well, keep this in mind when you doubt, when you doubt that is who you are. In other words, your affirmation is I am doubt. I am doubt. And you don't want to be that, do you? That's not a good affirmation to live in. So high flyers, think about this. The I am energy, the presence, the ever presence of spirit, of light, of source energy of the universe, the I am energy within you, it literally becomes and helps you manifest whatever you choose to align to. So if you are aligning to doubt, that's what you manifest. High flyers. The reason doubt is such a powerful energy is because we don't manifest by words alone. You've heard that, that saying words are things, thoughts are things, words are things. Well, they're all things. But what's really important when it comes to manifesting what you desire is what do you feel? Do you feel the wish fulfilled? Do you feel as if you already have whatever it is you desire? That's the key to manifesting. And think about this. Doubt is a very strong feeling. I just doubt it, Robert. I just doubt it. I mean, I'm hoping, I hope it works out, but I doubt it. See, that's a strong feeling and that's easy to manifest. Doubt is easy to manifest. And guess what doubt manifests? You're right. It manifests more doubt, more situations where doubt is present in your life. So then your affirmation high flyers is I am doubt and I am feeling doubt. I am feeling and feeling is how you, as we just said a moment ago, is how you attract. It's how you connect to the universe to manifest whatever it is you desire. Remember we attract what we are, not what we want. Think about this. There are people scattered all over the world that want something. I don't know a human being alive that doesn't want for something, but the people that receive what they want become what they desire to receive. They become that vibrational energy. High flyers. If you are living in doubt and fear and worry, then this is what you will attract. So high flyers, what can you do about it? Here are the three ways that I think you can challenge doubt and they're all effective. Use all three of them. Number one, choose. This is a choice we make. Okay. It isn't something that just happens. It's an absolute choice. Choose to trust the universe. Choose to trust God. Choose to trust source energy. Okay. Choose to trust, write it down somewhere. I 
choose. It's a choice I am making. I choose to trust and fill in the blank. God, universe, source, I am energy, whatever works for you. Okay. Once you choose to trust high flyers, this sets off a vibrational force into the universe, a vibrational connection to the universe. And you start to operate at the vibrational level of trust rather than doubt. Remember, as you think about trusting, as you choose to trust, feel how good it feels to trust. Cause remember we connect to the universe. We connect to source energy through trust. Feel how good it feels. And then of course, take it a step further. Use the law of assumption and focus on what it feels like to have your manifestation. What does it feel like? to have that perfect relationship? What does it feel like to have that new house? What does it feel like to have that new job? What does it feel like to be nominated for an Oscar? What does it feel like to win the Pulitzer prize? What does it feel like to be giving a workshop for a thousand people? See, you want to focus deeply on what it feels like. Number two, Get into what I call the flow state, the flow state. Hmm. That's a special place. You know, when you see somebody shooting billiards or pool and they're just putting in one ball after the next, they're in the flow state. When you see a swimmer swimming in a competition and they are just focusing on the next stroke, next stroke, next stroke. They're in the flow state. When you are making love and you're not thinking about what time it is, whether you're hungry, you know, you're not thinking about anything else except the moment and how good it feels. You're in the flow state. So, it's not what you're doing. It's the mindset that you bring to whatever you're doing. I was just talking to a lady who's uh, going to be climbing Mount Kilimanjaro and she and I were talking about how the flow state is just focusing on the next step and the next step and making sure each step is perfect. And eventually you're at the summit. And that's how it is with manifesting. Get into the flow state. One of the ways you can get into the flow state is to tie an experience where you were in the flow state with whatever it is that you're manifesting. So I, I can't remember who it was. It was a, uh, one of the great manifestors of our time. Might've been Steve Jobs but he liked to do dishes by hand because in washing the dishes, it put him in the flow state. And in this flow state, he came up with ideas. So washing dishes to him wasn't a chore or a challenge or something that was to be dreaded. It was something to look forward to because that would put you in the flow state. So whatever you can do to get into the flow state and then bring your desire and whatever it is you're manifesting into the flow state. The one thing that stops the flow state is doubt. If the swimmer doubts that next stroke going to mess up. So don't doubt. We've talked about this. Choose to trust, choose to be in the flow state, focus on the flow state in everything you do. And you'll find that it carries over into your manifestation work as well. And high flyers. Number three is challenge those doubts, challenge those negative thoughts. Absolutely. 
first thing to do when you have that doubt, when you have that negative thought, cancel that thought. And I like to see that big red symbol with a, with a line going through it in my mind. Cancel that thought. And then focus on challenging that thought. I challenge that thought. That thought is worthless. It is holding me back. I challenge your efficacy. I challenge your validity. And write it down if you have to. And then replace the thought. Replace it with a thought of trust. Replace it with a thought of receiving. Replace it with an optimistic, positive thought. And finally, feel it. It's that easy. It's that easy to turn doubt into trust and begin manifesting your deepest desires. I expect it. Share your results down below. I am always excited to read what good things are happening in your life. Now, here's some other videos to help you on your journey.